I did finish up the uh, PPR at the water store. Uh, to say the least, I suck at it. Uh, the PPR was a lot harder than just doing uh, your in the states the schedule 80 PVC with the glue. Uh, I'll go into that a little more uh, once I go up there. I have to get some more parts. Uh, the bung holes that go into the tank, both of them split, and so when the water goes into it, it just sprays all over the place. No judging. Like I said, day one of doing the PPR, it really uh, was bad. Day two, not so bad. Uh, I got a better hang of it. So, this is going the outfeed to the tanks. This part I'm pretty proud of. Now this angle I couldn't do that since it's already what it was there, so I had to work with that. Right there. And if you look oh, under the tank, there, going up to feet to that one there. I need to support this better. I was thinking of from the scrap I've got here, use this PPR pipe as a stand and with that said, I could use a good piece of scrap that I got here and just and so just hold it up. I should have to be this way here so it's out of the way of the tank. It's hurt up. But my biggest issue was with the with the filter I was gonna install. Well, first of all, I just tried a regular uh, male adapter and it didn't work. The threads on the let's see if I, I know I have one here. The threads here on the male adapter just chew up the threads on this here so i said okay well i just went to a three quarter to half reducing bushing and then these are half and then i can take from this half and then another adapter and go out to a three quarter i've done that but instead what i think i'll do is just get a female adapter three quarter and just get uh, a three quarter inch close nipple and run it that way because it's, it's not liking the this because these got little teeth on them this one here you can see better and these these little teeth here they go fine screwing into uh metal npt national pipe thread but the plastic they don't do so well the threading is a little bit off where these here aren't as and if you see how these went in all the way fine but so I couldn't put the filter in and just to get us to have water I need to also I need to raise this up because this here is about three inches lower than this so that's why you see this down here another problem in my infinite wisdom I figured this is the bypass to go all the way through. So I take this here and shut this tank off, right? Wrong, because water will take the least path, uh, path of least resistance, just like electricity does. It's shut off here, but what it's doing is going through and here and then back in there. I'm gonna have to put a one-way valve in here so that this can't this can't happen this so this 
this whole section here needs to be redone. And you can see how with these, with, I'm gonna have to come up with a different way to get this set up. And I don't know how, if I'm gonna have to set these together and then push them in. But thing is, see, it's not like PV, like a PVC where you can, uh, I don't know. It's just gonna be, a, it's a pain in the ass to try and get it in. And here, I'll drop the, the float in here so you can see what happens right away there you go water is that one i think i have this valve off yeah i have this one off right now We put some Volca seal on it where the actual crack was, but these. This one as well. So. My first attempt was a fail, but we will get it. Uh, like I said, I need to. I need to redo this. So I need to get another one of these. I need to get more elbows, more T's. Uh, I need to get a one-way valve. I have a brass one, but they have PVC ones. And I'd rather use one of the PPR type because the, uh, the brass one, you have to use threaded fitting. So that's where we're at up here. I basically probably within this video I could throw in the time lapse I did on the, the first day here. One thing I did find out now the uh, the experts recommend about seven seconds on the PPR till it's hot enough to fuse. And they say between 250 to 270 degrees Celsius. And you, the, on the fusion welder that I have, I have the ability to adjust the temperature on it. I found for me about 260 works just works really well. 250, it takes too much pressure to get the uh, PPR into the the sockets so they can start heating up and then uh pulling them out it's harder to pull them out uh i burnt myself a few times on that uh, welder trying to get the uh the pieces apart so 260 to 265 270 seems to be a little bit too warm uh so i i'm running right about at 260 degrees